Chapter 44 Joseph with the Holy Family in the new home Cyrenius as a guest Joseph's and Mary's gratitude When Cyrenius arrived at the newly bought villa together with Joseph and his family Joseph said to Cyrenius Noble friend, this is what I like an unpretentious villa a decent fruit orchard full of dates, figs, pomegranates, oranges, apples, and pears, cherries, grapes, almonds, melons, and a lot of vegetables, and next to it a meadow and three cornfields that are surely part of it. Indeed, I don't want anything shiny and ostentatious, but this practically designed villa which is very similar to my lease property at Nazareth in Judea, I would like to either rent or buy. At this moment, Cyrenius pulled out the ownership paper and handed it over to Joseph with the words May the Lord, your and now also my God, bless it for you. With this, I hand over to you the tax-free full ownership of this villa. Everything you see enclosed by thick bushes and the palisade fence belongs to this villa. Behind this residential building, there is a spacious stable for donkeys and cows. You will find two cows. Donkeys, you have anyway enough for your own needs. If you would like to return to your native country after some time, you may sell this property and buy yourself something somewhere else. In one word, you, my great friend, are now in full possession of this villa and can do with it whatever you like. But I myself shall stay here today, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow so that Herod's wicked messengers will have to wait for me even longer. And only for this short time I will make use of this villa out of my great love for you. I would need to say one word and the whole palace of the Emperor would be at my disposal. First of all, because I hold the Emperor's full authoritative power. And secondly, because I am a close relative of the Emperor. But I avoid this out of respect and love for you but especially for the child whom I consider without question to be the son of the highest God. Joseph was so moved about this gesture that he could not talk but only weep in gratitude. Mary hardly fared better, but she regained her composure faster, went to Cyrenius and expressed her gratitude by placing the child in Cyrenius' arms. And Cyrenius, utterly moved, spoke, Great God and Lord, is a sinner worthy enough to carry you in his hands? So then be gracious and merciful to me, 